Hello, how you guys doing? Hello, college coaches and sports and universities. How you guys doing? And hello, Bobby Knight. Keep those shoulders strong, you know. Hope you're doing good. You know, work on vitamins too, you guys. Some of you older coaches, you know, America needs those college coaches to stay in good shape. You know that. And NFL coaches too. Particular football teams and uh, athletes and you know people that may have retired you you got to stay in good shape America needs those college coaches and those university uh, uh, athletic programs and things that are important in the NFL and pro sports and NBA and NHL and you know all you coaches has played and you became coaches some of you you know you got to stay in pretty decent shape, you know, you know, a little active here and there, you know, sitting around eating good food choices, you know, you know, the different varieties of a diet and your vitamins is very important. And don't forget, my father played in the NFL for like 60 years and in reference to Sports Center and ESPN, you guys need to do some stories about my mother and father in reference to sports teams that my parents owned or in reference to my grandparents owning sports teams back in the early 1900s. This is very important. It's part of history and parts of facts in reference to leagues and sports. You know, I'm the only child of my mother and father. This is important for, you know, universities and pro sports and for America and international friendly acknowledgments of history. So, you know, in reference to sports teams that my mother and father owned, or in reference to what my grandfather's owned, you know, the news networks are obligated to do stories on that. You know, it's it shouldn't be hard to find somebody that does a little research on information. But, you know, my father played in the NFL for over 60 years. But my father owned some sports teams too, right? But, you know, my father, it was pretty much unstoppable. And as a sports uh, history of things. I used to go to the games with my dad and my mother when I was a little boy, the Cowboys Stadium and other stadiums and, you know, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers, New York Jets, New York Giants, other teams, you know, in reference to uh, teams that was competing back in the day. And my mother and I, we'd watch my dad play at, you know, in the NFL and NBA and baseball and things like that. So, you know, it's it's very important that the sports leagues document it in reverence to all the character names that my father performed in sports, in reverence to NFL, baseball, basketball, Olympics, uh, Tour de France, you know, all the information, you know, has to be known, has to be documented and they need to make a documentary on it. And in reference to sports coaches that know a little about my father, they know about my father playing in sports, you know, their input is very important. Same thing in reference to my mother playing tennis or golf or uh, running track and field or my mother being involved in women's basketball, you know, back in the day. So, you know, it's very important that people show the importance of history and the facts and my athletic career, too, you know, I played sports and when I was little, too, you know, and, you know, gymnastics and other things. So, you know, the point of my father, when he played in sports and the historic documents, my father played in sports for his own accomplishments, too, and for team acknowledgments. So in reference to people trying to play this cover-up of my parents and my grandparents in sports and my history in sports is not fair. My parents, you know, they'd been involved in the sports industry, my father, my grandfather's, you know, in reference to the early 1900s and even before and some acknowledgments. So, you know, it's very important and it's not fair for people to be covering up the information. I'm the only child of my mother and father. All the Super Bowl rings that my father won or championship rings that my father won, I'm the owner of those. I'm the only child of my mother and father. And the information is very important in reference to my athletic accomplishments. 
the history of my career and my future career in in universities or sports, Olympics, boxing, track and field, cross country skiing, and other things is part of my life and it's very important and copyrighted that it has to be acknowledged in reference to who I am and what sports names I perform under in reference to character names as me playing in sports and history and accounts of information. So it's very important. So in reference to these people slandering my mother and my father and the history of my family history in sports and media and movies and TV and productions. You know, I'm the owner of the production companies of my mother and father and grandparents. And, you know, there's a lot of history of things. You know, everybody's got history in sports. Most people do and some acknowledgments of some things, whether, you know, whether they played or they're a fan or, you know, the history of, you know, athletics is very important and media and movies and TV and the nutrition industry. It's very important in reference to older people, too, that, you know, you stay in good shape. You know, you eat certain foods, keep your shoulders strong, you know, keep your legs strong a little, you know. This doesn't mean it's like a regiment of, you know, hard working out or anything. But, you know, it's about keeping things firm, finding out, you know, getting things a little you know, filled out, you know what I mean? Like your particular muscles, checking your balance of your, your pH balance or checking, you know, to keep your muscles in tone. I mean, some people put on weight, wonderful. But, you know, people put on weight, people stay in shape, people stay a little active, you know. Doesn't mean you have to do anything strenuous either. You know, just good nutrition, good choices of things, good vitamins, and hello, Flintstone Vitamins, and hello, companies, and GNC, and Vitamin Shoppie, and other nutrition stores, lots of things of importance. You now, in reference to America is a very important country, and international relations with friendly countries are very important, too. And in reference to, you know, the sports industry, and in reference to my Hollywood career, I'm a Hollywood A-list celebrity forever. And, you know, I'm a sports athlete forever, too, you know. I'll probably play in the NFL probably 60 plus years too in the future. But you know, my father played sports. My father, you know, was pretty much unstoppable in the NFL. There's probably some people in the NFL that had little arguments with my father in reference to sports commentary or head coaches. Hey man, put it on there. And you guys, all you sports coaches, uh, you know, sports is an argumentative kind of thing sometimes some people you know they they do their rant and raves and their you know their chanting of some things you know very important in reference to hyping the game and keeping things good keeping things you know interesting and keeping people uh, aware of nutrition and health and better things of the future and keeping things in order in reference to what problems there are in America you know, it's very important. Athletes are very important spokespeople for America, too. Many different races, many different types of people. So in reference to sports athletes and keeping America healthy and strong and international friendly races that are here in America and in other countries, very important. So, you know, in reference to sports industries, you know, they need to get some sports announcers to do information on my father and all the different names that my father played under in the NFL and all the different names that I've played in sports and if I have gold medals or if my father had gold medals if my mother had gold medals in the Olympics or bodybuilding my father did bodybuilding too back in the 60s and 70s you know, this is very important. It's not fair for people to be doing this, covering up my family history because people wanted to steal my mother and father's estates by making up lies about their health, making up lies about their athleticism, making up lies about their intellect. My parents was geniuses. 
And there's a lot of intellectual people in America. My parents were very successful in a lot of things. And it's not fair for government or anybody else to be covering up that information, slandering my parents, or these people slandering my character. So in reference to, you know, sports and Hollywood and the media, it's very important that people, you know, that knew my parents or they knew my parents in sports or internationally, you know, even China or Japan or Korea or England and France or Italy, they can say nice things about my parents too.